accidentally purchased something from the PlayStation Store by accident, or maybe it was a subscription that you had to PlayStation Plus, which got carried over and you were charged for another month when you meant to cancel before that happened. Is it possible for you to get a refund? Well, you're in luck because it is possible, and I'm going to show you how to get that refund in this one right here, right now. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is we're going to have to head on over to the PlayStation website, and that is PlayStation.com. I will have the link in the description if you just want to go down there rather than having to search for it yourself. You could just go down to the description and click on the link. So once you're on PlayStation.com, you're going to want to click on support. I'm actually on the support page already, but on the main PlayStation page, it'll look a little bit like this over here. All you have to do, you can see there's an option up there that says support. We're just going to click on that and then we're going to click on the question mark and support. So once we click on that, next what we're going to do on this page, we're going to go down to browse help by category. And now we're going to click on PS Store and refunds. So go ahead and click on that. And once you click on that, you'll be brought to this page here. And you'll see we have a few options. The one you're going to want to select if you go down and over three, it's refunds. So we're going to click on refunds. And once we click on that, we're going to go down just a little further. And you'll see down here, we have some more options. So now you're going to go down again and click on requesting a PS Store refund. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then once we click on that, we'll click on one of these three here, whichever it is that you'd like to get a refund for. What will happen is it'll take you to a new page. And on this page, what you're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and head on down to the bottom to where it says PlayStation Store refund type. Now, depending on what it is you're looking to get a refund for, there is a certain requirement depending on that refund. So for games and add-ons, after purchasing this type of content through the PlayStation Store, you have 14 days from purchase to request a refund. If you have started to download or stream the purchase content, you will not be eligible for a refund unless the content is faulty. So that's something there if you're looking to get a refund for either a game or add-ons. So for a subscription, let's say PlayStation Plus, it's a little different with how it works. It's similar in that there's the 14 days, but there's a bit more to it. So it says here, after purchasing a subscription through the store, you have 14 days for the refund. And then it says, however, we may reduce your refund amount based on how much you have used the service. For example, if a player buys a PlayStation Plus 12 month subscription and requests a refund seven days after the purchase date, the refund amount may be reduced to reflect any use of the subscription, such as playing online, downloading monthly games, using cloud storage, and so forth. So it's a little different depending on the type of refund that you're looking to get to receive. So in order to get your refund, what we're going to do, you're going to click on the one you'd like to get a refund for, and then we're going to click on Contact PlayStation. So once we click on that, we've got a new window here now. On this window, you're going to want to go down to what do you need help with, and then go down one and over one, PlayStation Store and Refunds. So we're going to click on that. And then down here, we have more options. So we're looking for a refund, so we're going to click on PlayStation Store Refunds. So one more option here now. And this is where we will be put in contact with them to get our refund. So you can see it says down here, need to contact us. Refund assistant, open 24-7, request a refund for content purchased on your account. Help with refund. So basically what you're going to do now is you're just going to click on this. And once you click on that, a new window will open up. And in that window, you'll need to give them your information 
in order for them to pull up your account and you explain everything to them, it won't take too long after that for you to get your refund. So there you go. That's going to be it for this one. If this video helped you out, I'd appreciate it so much if you can leave a like. And if you're new around here, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. I'm Wolfie, and I'll see you next time.